we'll just start with an update on the quarterback since that will be everyone's question of the day. Uh, nothing really to report. He did not practice today. Uh, Devon Mazda got all the reps uh, along with Matt Lynch. Um, I wish I could tell you, I wish I knew uh, whether he's going to be available or not Friday night. I just don't know. And uh, hopefully he will be. Uh, but if he's not, then we'll have Devon as prepared as possible to go out and, and play to the best of his ability. So um, that's really all I can say on that. Um, it's a good practice. We came out in the evening. You know, it's a short week. And uh, that gave them all day Sunday off. Uh, it gave us a chance this morning to come in and clean up the, uh, our last game and then move right on to Utah and get our Utah installation in and come out and have a good practice today. And we'll do the same tomorrow in the same Wednesday. And uh, I don't know, it seemed like uh, it seemed like a good idea. The, the energy was excellent, the focus was good, and, and uh, I love the way they practiced. So that's, that's where we're at. And like I said, I can't answer anything else about Josh because I don't know anything else. So will he, need, if, will he need to practice to play, or could he play without practicing? Uh, he could play without practicing. Okay. Can you tell us more about the nature of his injuries? No. I, I mean, I really, just to protect him, uh, I'd rather not, man. not to be coy or evasive. I just think in the best interest of Josh and the people that are going to try to get to him the next time he plays, I think it's best if I, uh, if I don't answer that question. Did you hear about some of the comments about, I know you probably don't care about the game broadcast, but some of the things about questioning his toughness on the game broadcast. Would, that would have been Brock Hewitt? Yeah. Yeah. I've known Brock a long time. Did you have any reaction to that? To what Brock Hewitt says? Yeah. No. Okay. No. 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 I would put very little stock in what Brock Hewitt has to say about anything that has to do with football. It sounds That'll like be controversial. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth. I've known him a long, long, long. I've known that kid since he was in college. So, is he a I know who he is. No, he's not a friend of mine. Okay. No. no. After watching the film, Anything I think it's, it's, can I just no, interrupt, go ahead, go ahead. Time, out. time out? I think it's ludicrous that anyone would question Josh Rosen's toughness when they don't know the nature of his injury. So, uh, in all fairness to my comment, uh, for, for a broadcaster who knows zippo about what's going on down there, to question the toughness of Josh Rosen is, it's, it's, like, I don't know what, I guess it drives ratings. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the producer was talking in his ear. I don't know. But what? it doesn't make any sense to me that, that Brock Hewer <coughs> has any any way to ever question Josh Rosen. But that's his job. So I do understand it's his job. So Anything else defensively once you watch some of the film? Was there... Defensively? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> like I said after the game, we did a tackle. How much do you watch the Utah film from last year? I know they've changed a lot of personnel, lost a lot of linemen, obviously lost <coughs> Joe Williams also. We watched it a lot because they had some success running some things against us that we hadn't seen in a while. So uh, we, we did study it, you know. And uh, even though it's a new offensive coordinator, it's the same. Um, their, their offensive line coach was their co-offensive coordinator last year. Um, I believe their running, I'm sorry, their wide receiver coach was there last year and their tight end coach was there. And then, of course, Kyle being the head coach, you know, he's going to, you know, maintain an influence on, you know, all three phases of their team. So. How hard is the Saturday road, Friday road <coughs> challenge? Back to back. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it, it's just a mindset. And um, these guys are resilient. And I think just adjusting the schedule the way that we did. Uh, I think it helps them, you know, giving them a chance to recover physically and mentally and emotionally and then hit it again hard. We'll be able to have our full complement of practices and uh, meetings. So uh, I don't think it's that, that, that big of a deal for us right here. You know, it would be nice to have one of those two games be a home game, but we can't control that, so we just won't worry about it. We'll just do the best we can. What exactly do you guys do in the alteration of the practice schedule? Well, we practice at 5 o'clock instead of 7. Five, Five at night instead of seven in the morning. To replicate when you're going to play? Or no, 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 no. Uh, to give them more time to recover between the end of the game and the start of our first practice. And so once you commit to doing one night practice, you really kind of have to do it the rest of the week because 
it, it wouldn't be conducive for us to come out here tonight and then come back out here at seven in the morning. You know, just to, as hard as they go, uh, it would be really hard on their body. So once we decided to go Monday night at five, you know, it locks you into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because yeah. we, need, we need to give them that time to, to recover. And you have to have meetings, and watch the film and install and things like that. So it was really just for the purpose of giving them a chance to recover and us a chance to plan for, for Utah. I know you've talked about it before, but going on the road, is there anything that you're trying to change up or just to change the mentality? Or Trying to win. <laughs> it's been a challenge. We used to you know, be so good on the road. Like We used to be so good on the road. You know, I mean, we used to be really, really good on the road. And, uh, you know, we struggled this year. And we struggled last year. Different reasons last year. You know, we, we didn't know what it was. And, um, you know, you're always trying to adjust to make things better. You know, without just adjusting to adjust. So, you know, I mean, it's a part of the evaluation process every single week. You know, as you go back and say, okay, what can we do better? Is there something we can just tweak or adjust a little bit that's going to give us a better chance to go into the game with, you know, uh, the right mindset or different mindset or more prepared or, or you know, uh, a little bit more sharp? And uh, you do that every week, you know, and, uh, you know, just try not to stray too far from what you believe in and has, you know, over the course of a career given you success. So it's a constant, you know, adaptation. Thank you.